John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And Moses rose up, and his minister Joshua. And Moses went up into the Mount of God. Exodus 24:13. Commentary And Moses rose up, and his minister Joshua. In order to go up higher on the mount, Joshua, and he only, was to go up higher with him, though not to the top of the mount, at least not into the cloud upon it, as Moses did. Joshua was his minister or servant, and waited upon him wherever he went, and was to be his successor, and therefore for his encouragement, and to qualify him the better for it, he was indulged with a sight and knowledge of things others were not, for by his not knowing anything of the idolatry of the golden calf, Exodus 32 17 18, it appears that he was on some part of the mount all the forty days and forty nights. And if it should be asked whether he fasted all that time, or, if he did not, how he was provided with food and drink. It may be replied, that there is no necessity to suppose that he fasted all that time, and it is easy to imagine how he was supplied, for the manna fell round about the mountain, of which he might gather and eat day by day, as Aben Ezra observes, and there was a brook which descended out of the mount, from whence he might have water, Deuteronomy 9.21. And Moses went up into the Mount of God, Mount Sinai, where he had formerly appeared to him in a bush, and now had descended on it to give the law, and was still upon it, where his glory was seen, and therefore might, with great propriety, be called the Mount of God, to the top of which Moses was preparing to go, but before he went gave the following instructions.